first assess the earnings for us. We saw some good numbers from Microsoft last night, right? Yeah, we did, and I think I'll use Adam's line, better than feared, right? So uh, the bottom line is, is growth is slowing, as you mentioned. Um, you look at the cloud growth, it was up something like 27%. That sounds great, but it's a lot slower than it used to be. Um, and I would mention with Google yesterday, which the stock's kind of flat here, um, their search and other was up like 1.8% in growth. Well, compare that to a year ago, it grew like 24%. So I think the big takeaway here is growth is slowing drastically in tech. Yeah, drastically for sure. But these stocks are up drastically year to date. Uh, the big kahuna of them all is Apple. It's going to yes. report next Thursday. Stock is up 26% year to date going into the report. We, you know, Apple gives us so many windows, right? It, it tells us about China. It tells us about supply chain. It tells us about the consumer. It tells us about inflation. Would you buy Apple going into re the report? I actually wouldn't. Um, I would think not. I would not. And it's had a magnificent run this year. It's almost near its high. One of the only tech stocks that's near its high because even though tech stocks have had a magnificent run this year, they're still well below their highs. The stock tra trades at 27 times forward earnings. So I think the bottom line is, you know, any growth is priced into Apple for like years. <laughs> so I think at this point, you know, the bottom, if you look at that stock years ago, it used to trade like 15 times forward earnings. Yeah. So I think at this point, the stock is trading at a, at a really high multiple, and that's a problem. And, well, yeah. Well, you know what's ironic? Both Apple and Microsoft are trading at about the same multiple, high 20s, whether it's 28 times, 29 times. And ironically, boring old Microsoft is actually growing faster now than Apple. And, you know, who would have ever thought that five years ago, that Microsoft would somehow take the growth mantle from yeah, Apple? That's true. And don't forget Amazon, yeah. because they're all vying for that cloud customer. Yes. Amazon reports tomorrow. And yes. the cloud business is obviously going to be one of the most important in terms of what we're looking at for the quarter. Yeah, and again, it's going to be slower growth uh, in the cloud, and it trades at like 50 times forward earnings. Yeah. So I think that's the biggest problem here. I think the biggest mistake investors are going to make is they're going to put their money back in tech. They're going to get seduced here because the returns have been good this year. Meanwhile, there's better bargains elsewhere in the market.
trying to reduce costs, improve yeah. efficiency. The stock is down better than 10% year to date. 3M cutting costs, laying off 6,000 manufacturing workers following the 2,500 cuts they announced back in January. And then there's Disney, beginning its second round of layoffs this week. Total uh, job cuts here, 4,000 cuts so far. Officials say the third round of layoffs expected to start before the summer. Plans to bring the total number of job cuts to 7,000 at Disney. Adam. Which sounds like a high number and if you're one of those 7,000 it's very painful yeah. but the reality is that all of these companies that you just talked about Maria the total job cuts amounts to two three four percent of the workforce and even if you look at according to Challenger and Gray uh, which tracks job cuts and, and hirings across the economy even if you look at total job cuts in the month of March there were 90,000 jobs that were cut versus 190,000 jobs created if you look at the non-farm payrolls data. So we're still creating, and by the way, that was the lowest that we'd seen in many months. The average, the six-month average is more like 290. So you're still seeing um, two or three to times as many new jobs created as we're seeing jobs cut. Tom Lee at Fundstrat. Yes. You know, he's got his uh, note it's several times a week. This morning's note is talking about the jobless claims that we're seeing increasing in the 200,000 plus income set. So he says, not only are we seeing the jobless claims numbers go up, but we're seeing the jobless claims numbers go up for those people making $200,000 yeah. or more. Well, that's a fair point because now what you're talking about is middle management. Yeah. And, and right, what you're seeing companies yeah. do is barbell. In other words, you need the worker bees who are, are not making $200,000 or more uh, that work and get the stuff done. And you do need the C-suite and the uh, professionals, et cetera, at the uh, opposite high end. But in the middle where, the, where there's the fat uh, middle management, yeah, that's it's tough to be a middle manager. By the way, it looks like we're getting headlines here on the UK regulators blocking the Microsoft oh. uh, uh, Activision deal. Well, what's interesting about that is yesterday on the earnings call, um, uh, Microsoft executives were asked about that and they said, oh, we think we're going to we think we're going to be able to buy Activision Blizzard. We think that the UK will approve it. So this is this is not what management expected. The UK regulator is blocking it yes. and Activision stock is plummeting right yes. now. It is down 12%. Yes. Microsoft is still up. It's trading on the earnings, but what about this UK regulator? Well, I think the bottom line it says tech has tough times ahead. I think that's what we're looking at here. There's going to be more competition. Um, there's going to be more regulation, mm. and valuations are way too high. And meanwhile, you can diversify your, money, diversify your money to a lot of other places. So I think uh, this just is indicative of the fact that tech is not going to be the place to the, be. The idea that um, there was consolidation and Activision yeah. is in play only yes. becomes bigger now. Because, well, okay, so yes. the U.K. regulator blocks the deal. What does Activision do? Is, is that the prettiest one at the party? Does everybody want to acquire <laughs> well, Activision? It's, it's, no, it's, it, it'd be an expensive acquisition at $40 billion. It was going to be Microsoft's largest ever acquisition. There are very few companies that can buy it. Uh, the only companies that can are companies like Microsoft, and clearly regulators don't want companies like Microsoft to get any bigger, uh, which, again, I think is why Activision uh, Blizzard is down. Who else is going to buy them? Who yeah. else can afford to buy them? Well, we'll say, right, real quick yeah. before you go, we have to look at First Republic stock. Yeah. Yes. First Republic lost $100 billion in deposits. Oof. That stock has been falling out of bed. This morning, we're looking at further declines, even though it started off with a bounce this morning, but it's lost, what, 50% of its value? Look at where the stock is now. It is down this morning 50 percent on First Republic Bank. Yeah, which is yeah. what down 50 percent from the day before and 50 percent from the month before. I mean the Three numbers are down staggering. 14.8 yeah. percent right now. Yeah. I guess the question here is is does this tell me that the banking crisis is far from over? No I think this is one we knew was a problem. Um, I don't and anecdotally I knew almost any client kind of or, High net worth individual I know took money off their platform. Right. So I, I think bottom line is this one was going to be problematic. But the bottom line is financials are up like 7% since the financial crisis here has happened, this banking crisis. So I don't think you're going to see a big overspill, uh, just given the fact that, you know, if you look at the big banks, they had phenomenal earnings. And a lot of these regional banks, you're going to see some consolidation. That's what Kevin just said. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think the, the system is broke or we see the market down a lot. Yeah, but further. let's face it. Um, J.P. Morgan set such a high bar when it reported its earnings two weeks ago. Yes. Now we're in the thick of things. Busiest week yet for the first quarter. Next week's going to be another really, really busy week. I feel things are turning in terms of the guidance going lower. Would you want to buy stocks here? I know you've been bullish. You've been right. You want yeah. to buy stocks right here? 100% expectations 
expectations are so low um, and we're beating expectations. And look, if you look at earnings growth by the end of this year, they're going to be really good. You have double digits earnings growth by the last quarter this year. So I think right now, better than feared, as Adam likes to say, is what you're going to see. Yeah. And if you look at valuations across the board outside of tech. Thank you want to you. buy yeah. stocks here? Yes. And I, I am 100 percent invested. I've got three real quick numbers for you on the earnings to date. The average surprise, upward surprise, is 7%. Right, about a quarter of the S&P 500 companies have beat. The average beat is 7%. And while the earnings are down 2%, revenues are up 6%. That's not that bad. It's better yeah. than feared. Yeah. Okay, we will leave it there. Great to see you. Thank, Thank you, you, Ryan Payne. Adam Johnson sticking with us all morning. We're grateful for that.